Now about 5 months ago at this point, a teaser released for the new DLC for Rainworld, that being The Watcher. I made a video on it at the time, and I know it's only like 5 seconds into this one, but if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you should probably go watch that one first. If you do know, I'm not going to waste your time by giving you a 5 minute recap of what I said in that one, but that's besides the point. If you have not heard, a new teaser was just released for The Watcher DLC nearly 2 weeks ago, and yet it only has 6,000 views. Now, why is that? And why does it seem like no one knows about it? The reason is, this new teaser is unlisted on the Alcapara Games YouTube channel, the publishers of Rainworld, and the only way to get the link to it is by going onto their website and finding their devlog for August. Now, there's some cool stuff here, I'm sure, but scroll down to the bottom and, well, there it is. It reads, Error, Missing Title, with a description that reads, Error, devlog not found, but that's just obviously a little stunt they're doing to keep it mysterious. After clicking on the video, you'll find that this teaser is very similar to the old one. Very short, and it doesn't tell us that much. It's titled Wind Chime, and I think it's pretty obvious that that's just the name of the music playing in the background. It's only 45 seconds long though, and unlike the older trailer, this one doesn't tell us anything whatsoever. It's just the new slug cat, which we already know about, standing in a coral caves room, which we already know is being released in the DLC. So boom, case closed, back it up, go home. Just a little creepy teaser, right? Well, I already did the Vsauce joke twice in the last video, so can we just cue the music? <laughs> Thank you. Obviously, this is not just nothing. Be honest, you saw it coming. If you didn't suspect a twist, might I suggest the special education program? Once you scroll down through the comments, you'll notice a lot of people bringing up the date September 19th. Now, what significance does this date have? And where is it coming from? Are all of these commenters secretly video cult employees trying to psyop us? And yes, I forgot to take my pills this morning. How could you tell? Well, if you look closely at the top left corner of the video, you might notice something strange. Do you see it? No? Well, I didn't either until... By increasing the contrast of the image, it's pretty clear that it says, very faintly, September 19th. Shout out to Addy on the Rainworld MC Discord for this image. Now, I hate to get your hopes up like that, but I really don't think this is going to be the release date for the DLC. I honestly can't put my finger on why, but I think I've just learned to not trust cryptic references to random dates revealed through strange messages by game developers, especially after, you know the incident. I wouldn't have a problem if that was the expected release date though, and assuming that Video Cold began production on the DLC directly after Downpour released, they would have had more than a year to work on it until this point. And judging from the last trailer and the Steam page, it could be much smaller in scale compared to Downpour. I personally tried looking for more clues myself, since really, for all we know, there could be some secret Morse code message hidden in the background. I tried turning on the subtitles, and to my surprise, Hindi words came up. And I thought I just made a breakthrough that no one had before. Uh, then I actually put it into Google Translate and it said music. And music. So I think that's just a me problem. Other than that though, that's all this new teaser has to offer. Very cryptic and very short. And I will be looking forward to September 19th, whatever it is that might be coming on that day. Until then though, I will be... Straight? Glorbin. Who wrote this? To me, I feel that Video Cold and Nakapara are going to continue releasing weird things like this, and the community is going to need to look deeper and deeper into what they come out with to find out what they're trying to say, since they're already on the weird ARG road to telling us about the water, so they might as well continue doing that, if not just to have a good time. In related news, I did find this screenshot of one of the Video Cult developers talking about the project in some Discord server. It reads, I wish I could give more info on the new stuff, but I don't think I'm legally allowed to say too much more than there is a lot of really cool new regions and critters. The modded regions are but a small piece of a really sweet package. This really reaffirms my thoughts on the whole of this new DLC. It seems to me that this is going to be much more heavily focused on regions and creatures. Obviously, Downpour did both of those, but the main focus was the five new slug cats, and most of the new regions that came with Downpour were just the same from the vanilla game, but from a different time period. Here, there's one new slug cat, and the marketing here really isn't even focused on him. Frankly, I wouldn't even be surprised if the map that comes with the washer is completely disconnected from the vanilla one, and it's just its own thing. And yeah, the community modded regions they're using obviously connect to the vanilla map, but I mean, how hard is it to change where the pipe goes to? And honestly, I kinda hope it is. The level design of Rainworld is amazing, and pretty replayable. But the feeling of wandering around aimlessly just enjoying the exploration your first playthrough is kind of unmatched. But obviously I can't do that again unless if I hit my head really hard with a frying pan and like three little birds come flying around me in a circle. We're almost there, Freeman. 
but that's besides the point. The devs have said in multiple places, well, two, that there are going to be a lot more new creatures coming with this DLC, and yet we have not seen any of them. Even in the first trailer, when all those guys walked around at first before the Watcher showed up, they were just vanilla creatures. This really leads me to believe, again, that the game is not going to be released on September 19th, as Video Cult really has a lot more stuff to reveal to the community before that day comes. If you wanted to build up hype for a game and increase your sales, you wouldn't put out two trailers one of which is unlisted, give the fanbase the release date and call the day. Instead, you would let it be a slow burn. Give the community small breadcrumbs to follow along the way, and let them discover details about it themselves before finally coming out with the game. That way, your fanbase feels as if they contributed to its release by investigating the clues given to them, increasing the hype. I mean, if you need proof of that, they are literally doing it right now. That's all I have to say, not much to analyze about this one but I felt like I had some more thoughts I failed to share in the first video, so here they are. What will come out on September 19th? I don't know, probably another trailer. Make sure to leave a like and donate $157.25 to me on my non-existent Patreon, and then comment about how much you hated the NordVPN ad in the middle of the video, which is weird, since I am an open advocate of just selling your private information to corporations yourself, instead of letting websites do it for you. I mean, it's your social security number. Other people shouldn't be able to make money off of it. You should.